All right, Shalom. Yeah, peace unto you. This lesson, this meditation is going to be on how we just need to keep, you know, enduring, pushing. Um, and I say this because you pretty much, you know, it hit me like, you know, just to be honest, how no one's really listening and, um, you know, my flesh per se, no one's really listening and, um, whatnot, you know, despite the truth being evident and it being the very things that people need to hear coming out and the very matters that need to be discussed presenting themselves over and over, you know, so, you know, it just only led me to think about, um, you know, the whole matter and onward to the solution to that arising, all right, and that's how we want to keep going regardless because first of all it's only for a select few and there's a reward that's going to be had it's just this is just the pattern of all those that were um setting out to get anything good, you know, or waiting on anything good, so that's why we, and they ultimately got it, and that's why with us following that same pattern, the same path, you know, the thing that has been is that what shall be, we want to keep pushing, because it's going to play out the same, the same way, and I want to give reasoning to more reasoning to why, you know, which I'll get with some scriptures um, for you that can relate. And that's how, and that's going to be in regards of how the Heavenly Father, he's even waiting right now. All right. Um, and that's just how it looks right now. Like, that's what the process actually looks. That's just how it looks. The process of waiting for something good, it just looks like it's in the form of people not listening and, you know, uh, it seeming like no one's waking up, you know, at the rate we need, but you know the scriptures we got comfort because it'll just show you you know not only this was said to be going on but everything is going according to plans because for instance how the scriptures talk about uh Salakia. so yeah Salakia. so just to move forward you know there's that and uh this is actually uh before i get into it this is how you know i will have you know this is actually uh um you know more manifesting it more manifestation of the new covenant working you know inwardly because this is a call for us to develop patience which is the fruit of the holy spirit which is only gotten through the new covenant all right which is more proof is just able to be gotten that the new covenant is here and can be entered and is being entered and is in effect or in process upon those, you know, that was selected or elected to be, you know, a part of it, to receive it. All right. So before I go ahead and get into this, I'm going to say, call her love, my Yahweh, by Shemi, Hawashai, Wahawa, Kakodash, 
What I just said is all praise to the Most High in the name of His Son and the Holy Spirit. Peace and blessings to all you brothers and sisters that are living a life of, you know, the faith of the Heavenly Father of God. You know, according to your measure, you know, which shows, um, which is a shoe on this earth that, you know, this book is indeed real, you know, and thorough and authentic, I should say. And uh, that's due to you being enabled to enter the new covenant, you know, inwardly first and foremost, and then, you know, to lead you outwardly to the outward, you know, aspects of it. And then ultimately, uh, due to you, you know, understanding this as well. And to all you that, br you brothers that she's been teaching this, Shalom, meaning peace. To those that are new and to those that are in these groups, uh, brothers and sisters listening to them or whatever, uh, and you are just spirits and just looking to be aligned with the scriptures according to the scriptures of the Heavenly Father at the end of the day, peace unto you and to you across the four corners of the earth, awaken into this, uh, your heritage as Hebrew Israelites, as Israelites. So anyway, getting into this, this is James 5 and 7, be patient therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. So there you go. You know, that's proven, like I said, this is a manifestation of the, of the new covenant working because that's one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> As you see right here, Galatians 5 and 22, it says, um, it says, let's see, yeah, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering. As patience, right? Gentleness, goodness, meek, uh, fa faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law in the NLT. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience. See that? Kindness, goodness, and faith, faithfulness. So when you get the Holy Spirit, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause for you. It's going to produce patience in you. It's going to cause... It's how it work, man. It's going to lead you down things that are going to cause for you, uh, you to develop patience, which that which doing which is doing that for you, which is the Holy Spirit, it, it comes only comes with the, uh, the new covenant. See that? By way of the new covenant. So this is good. This is good news. It says gentleness and self-control. There is no law against these things. So it's working upon us. It's working in us inwardly first and foremost. So that's good news. So everything is aligned so far, right? James 5 and 7. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband man waited for the precious fruit of the earth and had long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain in the NLT. Dear brothers and sisters, be patient as you wait for the Lord's return. Consider the farmers who patiently wait for the rains in the fall and in the spring, they eagerly look for the valuable, the valuable harvest to, to ripen. Yeah. See that? So it's, 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 yeah, it's definitely valuable. All right. So, um, it's, it's, it's worth it. All right. So going on, it says, and it was a point I wanted to make with that, but it slips my, my mind now. Back in the KJV, verse 8, be also patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. So, it says, So, before I read on to the rest of this, because this is going to lead me to other points, we got to be patient. All right. We got to be patient, you know, though it seems like people aren't listening. That's just how it looked. That's just. The particular process of. What we're waiting for, which is for people to realize these things, accept these things, make it about these things, the elect all to wake up, be sealed, be shown to be sealed, sealed and et cetera. It just happens to be that the process of all of that looks like people not listening right now, which uh, is nothing more than a call for patience. But 
the reward is, is going to be worth it. You know, and and the exhort, exhortation to keep going regardless. No one's listening, but you keep doing what you keep, we keep doing what we're doing. You keep doing what you're doing. You keep teaching and you stay uh, um, going, you know, according to your measure, seasonably, how you need to be on it, you know. That's that. You know, you, you, you make sure you stay in standing. We make sure we stay in standing. Um and 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 stack up. You know, it's like people missing out on, you know, uh, a a stock or something like that, or the opportunity to, to, to stack this or stack that, you know, is is is, is the same thing, you know. More for you, like this the this the time to get your homework done, you know, to take advantage of the off season or you know all won't do it. But they should because the reward is great. All won't do it, but what they gotta do with you. What they got to do with me. You know. Still doesn't change the reward that can be gotten. You know. And the fact that you see that. Reward. Still doesn't change the fact that reward is to be gotten. Alright. So anyway. This is 2nd Peter 3. And. Uh, I started. Uh, 3. It says. Uh. I started at one. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you. It says, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Let's read this in NLT. This is NLT. Verse one. This is my second letter to you, dear friends. And in both of them, I have tried to stimulate your wholesome thinking and refresh your memory. Exactly. It says that's the point of this lesson, really. It says, you know, one of the aspects of the point. I want you to remember, I want you to remember what the Holy Prophet said long ago and what our Lord and Savior commanded through your apostles. More importantly, I want you, I want to remind you that in the last days, scoffers will come, mocking the truth, following their own desire following their own desires they will say what happened to the promise that Yahweh Shah is coming again who you may know is Jesus from some of you it says if you're new but it says from before the times of our ancestors everything has remained the same since the world was first created they deliberately forget that God made the heavens by the word of his command and he brought the earth out of the water and surrounded it with water that flood and all the proof around the earth and it's the same thing uh, uh that was going on then you know it was one that knew the reward that was told about the reward and was making it about um pretty much doing the same thing we're doing obviously i'm talking about noah to say the least you know more noah was dealing with the same thing you know so he had to wait, he had to keep pushing, you know, to receive that reward, reward and he ultimately got it, you know, and he, it was the process of that was, you know, dealing with a bunch of people that seemed like they wasn't listening, you know, or wasn't listening, you know, but that didn't change, like, what the reality of the matter was and was going to be and what could be gotten and what he knew and believed, you know, and understood. It wasn't to uh, uh, affect him. He just went on and got his, got his, you know, worked out his own salvation, you know, with fair trembling. So anyway, it says, then he used the water to destroy the ancient world with a mighty flood, with a mighty flood. And by the same word, the present heavens 
and earth have been stored up for fire. They are being kept for the day of judgment. When for the day of judgment, when ungodly people will be destroyed. But you must not forget this one thing, dear friends, as a, a day is like a thousand years to the Lord. And a thousand years is like a day. The Lord isn't really being slow about his promise, as some people think. No, he is being, he is being patient. And that's our exhortation right there. Because he's waiting. You know, he's waiting to the, the reward uh, uh, of the precious fruit of the earth. You know, sealing us as he's left. The children he, uh, uh, you know, long awaited for. You know, that cluster, you know, the perfection, you know, which is through that, inward, the, 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 you know, the, the effect of the new covenant, which is the inward process. You know, he, he's uh, wait, wait, letting all that play out, man. He He's not moving um, nor stirring anything until the said man should be fulfilled. So he got to wait, man. It's like cooking something. Wants it well done, you know. Um. Yeah, to say the least, but it says, no, he is being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent of the elect that is, you know, and he don't, he don't have no death in the, uh, no pleasure in the death of the wicked either. But the only people that's written to repent and given place to repent is, uh, that was granted, uh, repentance to return. Is the elect when you read Cyrax 17 24. All right, so the whole point is the Lord and exhortation is the Lord is being patient and his reward is getting everything how he wanted, it, you know, on top. You know, he, he's not gonna follow the multitude and do evil, he's not gonna get lost in the sauce, you know, and we're supposed to be perfect, uh, like our Heavenly Father. You know, we going to keep doing what he needs to do um, in the meantime, in between time, until that time. And that's just that. So we read on to, um, let me get this last scripture, James 5, because I could get another one. You know what? Well, this is Syrac 2 and 3. It says, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Exactly. You, you're supposed to reap of those fruit. All right. We've been in the vineyard. Right. It says, yeah, and that's the point. So that's the whole point. You, you, you hey. You, you don't want to be God of your reward. All right. That's, that's not, that's not what we want to do. All right. So when you go to, uh, verse seven, it says, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, believe him and your reward shall not and your reward shall not fail. So that's that, man. So, hey, this is that simple. So we come back to James 5 and 7. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband man waited for the precious fruit of the earth, right? A valuable uh, harvest, you know, the cluster. You know, the new heavens and new earth, you know, his will to be played out. You know, it says, and had long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient. See that? Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. For it's not against one, not one against another, brethren, lest ye be condemned. Lest ye, behold, the judge standeth before the door so it's a mindset we don't want to take on and in the, in the mindset that we want to take on during this time and you can't allow um these things to 
for instance, like people not listening and just people that say they the truth not really making it about what they need to make it about, what we all supposed to be making it about. Like you, you can't let that take your mind and turn to other stuff, you know, that's going to get you, you know, you know, in a bad position by that, by the time that come or have you, you know, like I said, be, be out of your, uh, through the, uh, according to the scriptures of your reward, but it says, take my brethren, the prophets, it says, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for example, of suffering, affliction, and of patience in the NLT, it says, let's start it, let's start it, um, Let's start at eight. It says, you too must be patient. Take courage for the coming of the Lord is near. So, yeah, you just take what you know, do what you need to do, what you're allowed to do. First and foremost, what you're allowed to do according to your measure. And you just keep, we, you just keep pushing, you know, and, 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 and get it for you and for those that be like you. Like Ezra was told. Let me grab that real quick. This is, uh. Second Ezra eight and fifty one, but understand, yeah, but understand thou for thyself, and see. You know what? Let me start it. Uh, let me start it. Uh, forty eight. In this also thou art marvelous before the Most High. Thou art marvel. Thou art marvelous before the Most High, in that thou hast humbled thyself, thyself as it becometh thee. And has not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified amongst the righteous, right? Because te te technically, you in the right space if you like, eh, you know, you starting to become humble. Like it ain't like you don't believe. You starting to just be like, like these times and how things is playing out. You know, and how you observing people, and then you just seeing, you know, and accepting your measure for what it is. Like you end up like. In comparison to what other others can be, you know, um, using this time to do, you end up humbl humbling yourself, you know, allowing the knowledge or um, like, for instance, they can take the knowledge and allow it to, you know, puff them up. And, you know, they, they being in on all, and knowing all of this, they can just go, they can become horrible with it. You know, not a, like these times should just be humbling. And then when you know you got a measure and you're able to see it, you, you would think it'll humble you and just put you right where you need to be. And just and, and, in regards to, you know, the matter that's actually going on and how you see it, your, you know, in, regard, in regards to your perspective on the matter. You know, it's like you, you don't you don't measure yourself out, you know, and you're like, huh. This me, and then you got to look at everything around you, everyone around you, and the things, the times for what they are, and it just put everything in its proper perspective, and that's all through the knowledge, but you got some, and that through, through that, you probably end up humbling yourself, right? It, be, it's, it becomes a real humbling experience when you accept it all for what it actually is, and you don't make up nothing. Then you got others that take the same knowledge that could do that for you, Right? The same ministry, if you will, right? But really not, I will not even say ministry, the knowledge, right? The knowledge, the knowledge of it. And they be, end up becoming beyond a measure, making it about stuff it ain't really about. Uh, you know, abusing the ministry and just, just all type of stuff, like for a for whole type of other situations. Or end up um, saying it's all a lie, you know? Like we're reading. Or just doing too much. Like, it's nothing wrong with saying you are the elect, but like, at some point, it should become humbling, you know? Cause this thing got to play out and then you see your placement and you only, if you being a realist, if you will, right, you see your placement 
in the whole matter. Like Ezra was had, had he got he had to be humble and was you know accept his place in the whole matter. You know, so all you got is you you know the truth, the heavenly Father, the boundaries, the liberty, and your measure, and that's it. And then the matter. You know. No place in that matter. Like, hopefully, where you stand at, which is hopefully a good one. You know, specifically where you stand at, and and and, and which is a, hopefully a good one. You know, but it's a specific one, and you can't make it about nothing else. So it's like, huh? You end up just becoming humble. I believe I'm the elect. You know, we know what's going on. You know, we got it, if you will, right? But. Not even a but. However, you got to assess the whole matter. Got to be just in your weights. But others just go uh, other. So kind of Ezra's, is, this is what Ezra's went through, which is why it's saying it. So it says, and that thou has humbled thyself as it becometh thee and has not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. Because you would think, you know, with knowing and seeing, okay, you lining up with the be, be the elect. But really, when you, like, deal with the, the like, the, the aspects of what we're supposed to be dealing with, like, completely, you end up in these places, like, humbling yourself. Like, the more you find out, you know. And then some dudes just stay proud and try to act like they more than what they is. Like, you know, and that's going to get them debates. But what you doing the opposite is only, it's only, it's only your way to exaltation. Right? But it says, for many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. But understand thou, that's the point for thyself and seek out. See that? But understand thou for thyself. Exactly. No one listen right now is it seemed like you know the truth reality is on mute. So it was like, well, let me just mind mine, you know, and do and do what I need to do. You know, keep keep pushing, you know, keep tending to my measure and, and, and pushing how I need to, you know, and pushing. And it says, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. And, and so we over here, you know, get it for those and continue for those who are like you, which is the elect. All right. Period. So it says, but unto you, paradise is open. The tree of, of life is planted. The time to come is prepared. Cleansiness is made ready. A city is built and rest is allowed. Yeah. Perfect goodness and rest. So that's it. So, you know. We just waiting this thing out. It's not a matter of the Lord not going to do it. It's not a matter of it being about what these people think or not thinking or those that eventually will be thinking about that, where they may be at at this point. Like, just keep pushing. Or dude's doing too much right now. 